Like, these are done with this. Okay. Oh, yeah. This one was a little bit crazy. So, almost page... Stay, stay, stay. Yes, page yeah. 12. Yeah. For the most part, it, uh, I just didn't understand that much. So, first of all, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so uh, what is going on in this equation? Is this just a variance of this? Yeah, yeah. What, 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 what I, I use here is, I will try this, use the same notation. I have, um, and let me skip use the same notation. That, that is uh, a mu, a mu, that's the same as. Uh, divided and this is the transform factor so this is after the Lorentz transformation so, so that means that this is equal to L and U and U times A U times L U U times a, and I call this maybe a well, because this index is different from that index. Yeah. Okay. So that's the definition of the Lorentz transformed uh, vector. Okay, so this is a bit of a bad question, but um, can I have it for a yeah. second? Uh, is this right here, I can't reach that much, but uh, is this right here this or Yes. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't really make a difference where you write it. Okay. Uh, the important thing is that the prime is not on the mu. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. Because then it would be different index. Sometimes you put, in this is you could put a prime here too. That, that wouldn't change anything because it is an index and there's a label without any, any meaning. So it doesn't really matter which. All that matters is that the prime is not part of the index. Okay. okay. So, uh, L mu, okay, so let's see what's in the rest of this. Uh, it got a little more confusing there because instead of using different Greek letters, I guess you just used variations of mu with more primes. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, okay, so uh, this, uh, you can write this, <laughs> now L transpose. That means that uh, you change the order of the indices. And this one is the first one, and that's the second one. So now I interchange the order, the first and second one. Right, because it's a transpose. And, and then uh, this one is a multiplication. And now I have here, what did I do? Uh, I, I, I didn't have the index of it here. So, so uh, there's a new prime. So that, that is L mu. Uh, I want the, this is a mu, a mu index, lower index uh, row times a row. I, 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 missed, I didn't write the index right. Do you see that this is the Lorentz transformation of a prime? the same way as I did here for a lower index. First index, second index, and contracted. First index, second index, and contracted. So, so here we have L mu and rho times A rho. All right, so what I'd be curious to know here is uh, on the paper, just so it doesn't get cluttered up with uh, my same notes. You wrote that uh, this uh, original expression was equal to uh, whatever this is. I'm not going to try to say it because it gets tired of pronouncing you. Uh, wait a second. I lost track. I, yeah. L mu mu triple prime. Uh, a triple primes. Uh, usually when you get more than two primes on something. So, so I, I followed yeah, maybe uh, 
so, so let, let's just follow uh, what, whatever. Uh, that's maybe simpler. Um, so, so what I did is a prime and mu, a prime and mu. The next step, I made the indices both up. So that is uh, g, uh, so this is uh, a prime, uh, and I call this uh, mu prime times uh, g mu prime and mu times a prime and mu. So this uh, lower set index. So, so that's clear. And, and now I do the Lorentz uh, transformation. And that's the following equation. So, so, so and, and for that, I, I use uh, the double index. And a prime and mu double. So this is the Lorentz, this number, two, this just the a. And I have here a g and mu prime and mu. And here I also do a Lorentz transformation. I call this uh, the triple. Uh, uh, this is the mu. This is the second index, uh, triple times a, uh, triple mu. Uh, that's certainly a lot of indices and a lot of algebra. Uh, not, so not that much. I can call, for example, this a uh, row. And this is a new prime mu, and I call and call this uh, say a five. I feel like we're starting to run out of Greek letters here. No, <laughs> no. And so, so, and and now I have to bring it in, in in the same combination as I have here because I want to make the equality that this is equal to a mu times a mu. So I want to get the, the a to the half. So this is a row. Then I put this in the matrix multiplication. So I interchange uh, the indices. I put the transpose there. Then this is a nice multiplication, g mu prime and mu. And this also, the index is in the right place, a mu uh, phi, and this is uh, a uh, phi. And now you see that th this is actually a, l a lower index. But this one, we can also write as, let me now write it as a rho, uh, g uh, rho uh, mu times a mu. And, and now uh, you, you see, uh, and, and maybe I call this phi. I can change the names of indices. And, and, and now if you compare these two, uh, these on, on the sides, they are the same. And that means this is true for all A's. And that can only happen if uh, the inside is the same. Right. So what we have now is that G rho phi is equal to L transpose rho uh, mu prime G uh, mu prime mu times L uh, mu uh, phi. Uh, that's uh, pretty nice to look at, actually. And, and technically, we actually should have chosen different uh, factors, Annie, and because then it is really arbitrary. And it, but the same, exactly the same goes uh, through when this would be a B instead of an A, because we only used uh, the transformation properties. And, and now you see that th this is uh, like a matrix multiplication. So if this is a matrix L transpose, this is uh, G times L, that must be equal to G. And now these are just four by four matrices. And then we, we, we know how to simply multiply them, there are no indices, and just solve this relation for L. That is the goal. So what kind of matrix matrices satisfy these uh, relations? Uh, I know we did derive these. I'm sure there's probably a bigger answer, but wasn't I know the oh, general one for four dimensions is pretty huge, but wasn't the answer for the, the two-dimensional one or the two-by-two two matrix yeah. uh, not this? That, that, that's right. That's right. And, and indeed, if you take only a two-by-two two block out of these, uh, you, you, you find that a solution. But there's more. And because this was just one time, this, this was for 
a one-time coordinate and, and one space coordinate. But in fact, uh, three, spatial, four, three spatial coordinates. And that is why this is a four by four matrix uh, relation. And the additional things what you can have is, if you have uh, three spatial coordinates, you actually can rotate the coordinate system. And rotations are a solution uh, of this uh, thing. And the simple reason is that if you look at, at the spatial part, uh, the spatial, uh, and near the spatial, the spatial is just the identity. And, and then you have the identity is uh, L transpose L. So, so, so you look for these solutions. Matrices, these are. Uh, okay. And they are a solution of this equation. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can see how that is. So, so this would be a rotation about the z axis. You understand why, why this is a rotation? You put a one in there. Yeah. Why this is a rotation about the z axis? Uh, oh. This is for two dimensions. I don't think we ever yeah. talked about anything in 3D. No, yeah, but I now I talk about three dimensions. Right, okay. <laughs> so uh, why is this a rotation about the z-axis? Uh, let's see. I mean, my first instinct to just to test it with something with these neural y coordinates. So what is the z-axis? Uh, the z-direction. z coordinate. Hmm? So... If th this is x and y and z. What would be the z-direction of the z-axis? Uh, the direction of the... I, I feel like I'm going to give it a... <laughs> no, just as fact, Uh, okay. Um, which one is the z-direction? This. Mm -hmm. So, uh, zero is zero, zero one. one. Okay. So it's simple. And if you act with this on uh, zero, zero, one, one, what happens? Uh, hopefully, it should leave it unchanged, right? Uh, yes. Uh, so let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, uh, that one zero. Do, okay, zero one. Okay. Yeah. So, so you see that the z-axis doesn't change, and if you rotate about the z-axis, the z-axis doesn't change. So you see that this is a rotation about the z-axis. Oh.